Oh, hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. So a little over a month ago, I released a video titled Five Great Spring Fragrances I Never Talk About. And I decided to talk about fragrances that I have within my collection that I enjoy and I kind of keep under wraps. And within that video, I mentioned a few fragrances from houses like Bentley, um, X Neo, and MFK. And someone hit me up like, yo, B, you never talk about MFK. Why? Well, one is... No one has really asked me to, to talk about them. So because of that dialogue and some of the recent requests that I've gotten, I decided to just go ahead and pull out some of the fragrances from MFK that I have within my collection and give them a review. So if you like to hear it, then here it go. So like I said, in that video, I talked about an MFK fragrance and in there we talked about Lumiere Noir Pour Homme. And to me, that one is like this duality, right? You have the Lumiere for the daytime, you have the Noir, the nighttime, and it just comes together extremely well. This bright fragrance that can also be transitioned well into a nighttime situation. However, the fragrance that we're talking about today is one that a lot of people would enjoy for the night or for those date you know, occasions or just some time when, you know, you just want to be a, a cuddle buddy. You want to smell expensive luxury. Um, this one is from MFK, obviously. And the fragrance that we're talking about is Grand Soir. Now, before we hop into the fragrance, let's go ahead and talk about the presentation. Now, the box for Grand Soir is upstairs in the sea of boxes that have not been reviewed yet and i was not able to find it quickly so i decided to abort abort abandon ship and come down and just talk about this thing here now unlike some of the other fragrances within the collection you don't have that um gray zinc cap on here this one is gold with gold lettering within the bottle and then you have this golden brown juice on the inside and <laughs> let's talk about it now some of your key notes in grand soir are going to be vanilla Amber, Tonka, you also have some benzoin and some labdanum in this thing as well. And to me, these things come together quite well. On first spray of Grand Soir, I get something that comes off to me and my nose to be seductive, alluring, and attractive. To me, this one is a, a great sensual scent. And again, when we talk about some of those notes in terms of that vanilla and that amber, this really provides some warmth and sweetness that is blended extremely well. Now, once I spray Grand Soir and it hits the skin, I begin to get some of that rose honey with the hints of incense in here. To me, this has this very resinous type of vibe. And again, that warmth that comes along when this thing is just... <laughs> It's good. All in all, with this one, I get this earthy, nutty sweetness in the beginning. And to me, as it dries down, it just gets better and better with time. Two to three hours into the scent, and you're still getting that rich, spicy, sweet uh, fragrance that is going to work extremely well in those cooler weathers. If you're looking for a fragrance that is going to allow you to bring some warmth into it, then it's definitely one that will work. I believe that the note breakdown, not only in this fragrance, but a lot of the MFK fragrances come off to be some that are really rich, right? <laughs> I think that this one um, does that extremely well, really in a masterful way. I often say that Tom Ford is the master of seduction and when I look at like what a great unisex scent could be, I really believe that MFK does that extremely well. Now, when you take what he's done in the designer world for other companies, um, that's quite different than what you get in his collection. Here, you really get to experience what he is as a perfumer and what he really wants to evoke. And those emotions really show up well, especially in a fragrance like Grand Soir. Now, some time ago, I came across a MFK interview and he really talked about how he went about diving into fragrances and becoming a perfumer. And within that, he spoke about how his creative process works in terms of really using the notes and the smells in a way to paint a picture much like a, a painter would. However, this time around, the medium 
is the notes. So with that in mind, I want to look at the scent description or the profile for this one. It says, dress in your best attire and be prepared to take going the night or so something along those lines. And I really feel like this fragrance allows you to do so. Within the brief or within the, the writings of this fragrance and interpretations of it, it really talks about exploring the Parisian um, nighttime, right? Being seductive and luxury and that. And I feel like this fragrance really embodies that. Now, at times you might have heard of synesthesia and I, I'm not... I don't get a specific color when I wear this thing, but if he's looking to create a picture of being in your best and really enjoying the nightlife, then I definitely feel like that is what you get with this thing here. And we talk about nightlife, although he is the creator of Lamar, right? Lamar and Ultramar obviously are, are great fragrances in their own right. This one is completely different. You get that luxury high-end feel as you get with uh, a lot of niche fragrances, but with MFK, it just takes it to that next level. Now, if memory serves me correctly, uh, Grand Soir was a part of a two fragrance release. We had Petit Matin, which is this, this small morning or this introduction into the morning, and then Grand Soir, which is this epic close to the night. And again, I feel like everything is, is really well done within this fragrance. In terms of the performance and longevity, it really works for me. In terms of longevity, I'm getting well over 10 hours with this, and... You know, I, I could go into the complete longevity of this fragrance, but I think anything 10 plus hours is fine in most cases, right? Most situations, you really won't need a fragrance to do much more than that before you're, you're showering and, and putting something else on to go into the next day. But I feel like uh, 10 plus hours on this thing really works. Um, for me, in terms of longevity, after that four and a half, maybe three to four hour mark, um, I begin to get something that is a lot more filled with that vanilla as the vanilla begins to really just up it up a bit. It punches out and just comes through and shines a bit more, which I really enjoy. Again, the vanilla in this one is the soft type of feel as well as the fragrance in itself. It, to me, although it's not listed in the note breakdown that I could find, it feels like it has this um, almost chocolate type of feel to it, which which I like. Um, and it could be, you know, just a mixture of the few of the notes in this thing, but I am a true fan of Grand Soir. Along with Grand Soir having good performance, this also has good complement factor as well. It has this boozy-ish type of feel to it in it as well. I know I talked about it being sweet, it being resinous, it just being soft. It also has that chocolate and boozy type of feel to it that I think a lot of people really enjoy. This one, again, to me, is this close encounter, seductive, sensual, rich, elegant scent, and I believe that the compliments uh, kind of go along with it. The Mrs. does enjoy this one on my skin, and I think that if you're wearing this one in a close encounter situation, then you'll be good to go. Now, most of my MFK fragrances, like when I showed um, Lumiere Noir, that one was a 70 ml. This one's also a 70 ml. For 70 ml of this one, you got $220, which isn't terrible if you compare it to like prices like Killian. Right? Killian is 215, or at least it was 215 for a 50 ml. You got $220 here for 70 ml. So the price comparison when it comes to niche fragrances, you're really in a good spot. And speaking of the price point when it comes down to this fragrance, what I do enjoy about MFK fragrances versus some of these other fragrances that are out there, when it comes to you know the niche price points of what you could come to expect, I really get fragrances that have that natural type of feel here. And I'm not saying that I enjoy all of them because that's not the case at all. I actually have some of them within my collection that really takes for them to dry down for me to enjoy it. But with this one here, I think from the opening to the end, this is something that I, I really enjoy. And I think most of you will as well, especially if you're looking for that compliment factor, you're into gourmand-ish type of scents. Not saying that this one is gourmand, but to me, it could fall into that lane. Obviously with the Tonka bean and the vanilla there, blend it really well. So I I think this is one that you would enjoy. I do enjoy this one. Performance is good. Compliment factor is good. And then obviously you have the name backed up by the legendary uh, Francis Kirk John in this thing. And you, my friend, have a scent that you can work with. So as I've already stated, a great time to wear this one would be the fall and the winter or just on a, a night occasion if you're going to be indoors in a climate controlled environment and you are going to have some one-on-one -on -one type of action, a date night, then this is definitely one that you can put on and rock like a boss and feel confident that you smell amazing, you, you're likely going to get a compliment and um, increase your attractiveness and sensual sexual desire.
Now I really don't do this part much, but this will be the fifth time that I've ever done this within my channel in terms of a rating for a fragrance as I tend to be um, critical. At least I think I'm critical of fragrances. Some of you might be like, no P, you love everything. But no, for me this one, um, for me Grant's War gets a 10 out of 10 in terms of what it provides for me, what I'm looking for within the fragrance. And since I never really talk about them, I figured I'll talk about it today. And um, I guess for those of you who don't know about it, you'll be able to utilize it. I tend to put um, By the Fireplace in this space because I think uh, most people can go for that one in terms of pricing. But if you're looking for something to up it up just a bit more, not saying that these smell alike, but I would wear them in similar situations. This is definitely one that you can pull off rock like a boss, regardless of your personality type. I think this one would go more for, um, personally speaking, like, I don't know, um, maybe, maybe not in high school, you probably wouldn't rock this thing, but um, college, you know, and obviously above, I think that this one will be a solid wear. All in all, I enjoy 10 out of 10 for me. Let me know your thoughts and opinion on this. Do you have any collection? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you really enjoy this thing? How many bottles of this have you had so far? This thing came out, I believe, in 2016. Have you ran through a bottle already? Comment down below and let me know. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. Be in with the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Grand closing to the video by doing what? Yes, by hitting the goddamn bell.